Hey there, this is Ronnie, coming at you with a video. Strange conversation last night with a friend. Not strange, I mean, you know, we talk about all kinds of stuff. But we were mentioning a particular uh, local game store. Uh, I won't mention them here because, quite frankly, uh, I have no interest in giving them the publicity. Um... And amongst the myriad of things that they're doing, like any game store, they are offering to teach people to GM. Probably slightly more accurately to say DM, because they're using D&D 5th edition as their starting point. I'll get back to that in a second. It's going to be over multiple sessions. I don't know how much, how many sessions. The price, £12.50 a session. Let that sink in. Now, what I'm about to say here, and the reason I said about bringing D&D back into this... Um, what I'm about to say here has nothing to do with D&D. &D. Um, I would feel the same way about this situation, regardless of the RPG being used. Uh, it just happens to be because D&D &D is the most well-known. Uh, it's D&D &D they're using. So leave that to the side. Because this has nothing to do with the system in play. This is to do with... A fundamental sort of foundational thing. I am utterly, I I abhor this idea, and I abhor it on two points. Point number one. The price. I think it's ridiculous to charge for such a thing. Now, um, I get it. We live in the West. We're a capitalist society. And if we don't get capitalism from here, we certainly seem to inherit a lot of ideas from America. Um, and I guess there's an argument to be said that, well, if you can make money out of it, go for it. But I'm, I, I, I kind of have to go for, you know, Dr. Ian Malcolm from, from, uh, Jurassic Park at this point, you know, too busy thinking about whether or not you could do a thing, you never bother to decide whether or not you should. £12.50? Apparently the first session was, the first session for which you were paying £12.50 was, read the rules! Just silently sit there, read the rules. £12.50. Fuck that. That's a fucking stupidity, that. That's, that's just overwhelmingly dumb. I actually joked to my friends last night, fuck it, I, I, I could do the same thing for £7.50 a head. And I said that facetiously, not because I would ever charge for bloody... Um, advice or information Jesus I do this channel for nothing um, but if I were I certainly wouldn't charge through the nose because the thing is a lot of the, the uh, one assumes a lot of the people who are, are getting into this are um, young teenagers or, or you know college people in other words People who really don't have that kind of money to hand, especially in this day and age, but they don't have that kind of money to hand and they're being charged through the nose for it. I think that's... I would go to the point of saying immoral. Um, I find it repugnant to charge. To charge and then 
to charge so much. The argument could be, oh, but they could charge so much more. Well, yeah, they probably could. Um, but, you know, they have even re less right to say that they should. Um, utterly, utterly insane. But my main objection is the notion that they're going to teach you the right way to GM. There is no right way to GM. As in, there is no uniform, absolute, this is the only way to GM way ever. <coughs> Whilst you might claim that there are certain guiding fundamental principles, um, you could teach those guiding principles in a session. The rest is just doing it, learning from it, playing in games and seeing how other GMs do things, seeing what you see as successful in the way that GM runs things and what doesn't work for you because each GM like each person each GM is going to be unique the way I run games um, is going to be different from the way uh, some of my other friends run games and I know that for a fact neither of us are wrong neither of us are uh, running the game incorrectly we're doing it our way our style with uh, the way we want to do things and that's powerful but that's what it is it's how we do things um, there is no uniform way of running a game. Which, funnily enough, is one of the fundamental lessons I would teach someone. And you're getting this lesson for free, folks. Absolutely ludicrous notion. Um, that there's a correct way. Um, to run a game certainly as I say there are certain guiding principles certainly um, the way you run games tends to mean that uh, you will get a certain kind of player um, certain players will gravitate towards your style of game and if players aren't really enjoying themselves, then either it's because they feel that you're being unfair, which again is part of universal principles, um, or your style of GMing just doesn't gel with that group. I have experience of this, recent experience of this. Um, But there really has to be a thing now where we, we, we have to turn around to people and, and, and stop, stop this idea that there has to be an absolute way to play. Because the last thing I want for this hobby is for an entire generation of Ford motor car conveyor belt pre-packaged GMs that all think, talk, act the same. Might do fun for uniformity, no fun for the players. Um, I, I think it's a ludicrous notion that there is a correct way to GM. I don't think it's possible. Um, 
yes, you can always hone your craft. Uh, but that's not about necessarily changing what you do. That's about uh, doing what you do better. Becoming better at the style of game that you like to run. And doing better at being the kind of GM that you are. Um, for example, going back to, to example, the way I run games is different from the way Jason runs games. It's different from the way Becky runs games. It's different from the way Phil runs games. Um, if you've been watching the stuff on Pair of Geeks 2, you will have seen this. We run games very, very differently. And that's exactly as it should be. Um, absolutely it should be. So, the notion of charging what I assume will be kids or young, young adults, uh, 1250 a session is just bonkers. The idea that you can create a uniform style of play is equally absurd. If you want to learn, learn how to GM, three things. Watch a lot of different games and cherry pick the styles that suit you, that you feel you can emulate. Two, play in lots of games. Get a good feel for the system that you're going to run, particularly if they're running a style of game that you want to do. And then three, just get in there and play and run things. Run your games. Accept that the first few times that you run something, you're going to screw something up because you will. And over time, hone your way of doing things. And number four, for the love of God, regardless of the genre, everyone together round that table or over the internet, round the sort of virtual table have fun because as much as we can call it an art form and a style and we get a, into all these things but deep and, and, and meaningful and all the rest of it at the end of the day it is a game and we are all here to have fun and that's it